Hi, I'm Dr. Ritika Chaucharya. I'm a pediatric pulmonologist. I mainly deal with children uh, with pediatric asthma or other lung problems. With the advent of this global uh, COVID-19 pandemic that has been there uh, since almost a year now, there has been a lot of confusion about uh, pediatric asthma and whether they are at increased risk of getting severe infection or vice versa. So asthma is an inflammatory disease, mainly it is an inflammation of the airways which can be triggered by any allergen like uh, dust, house dust, dust mites, insects, weeds, pollens in the changing season. But most importantly in children, viral infections are the most common triggers. Now COVID-19 is also a respiratory virus. so Common sense says that children who acquire COVID-19 are at increased risk of getting a severe asthma exacerbation. However, this is not what we are seeing in clinical practice. Children with COVID-19 have milder symptoms. They're not suffering with severe pneumonias and severe disease like the, the adults are. Children with asthma, if they acquire COVID-19, they can suffer from fever, cough, runny nose or stuffy nose which gets better in seven to ten days like in any other asthma exacerbation. The parents should look out for any breathlessness or any chest tightness and in that case they must report to a hospital. So first and foremost parents of all children irrespective of asthma or not should take care that their kids stay at home. They should leave their kids home when they're going out. Uh, Hand washing is a must. They must always wash their hands, make their kids wash their hands for a minimum of 20 seconds. Any child above two years of age should wear a mask at all times. And the parents should wear a mask also. These are the basic ways of preventing any infection, whether COVID or not COVID. Now, specifically to asthma patients, I would strongly recommend that they must follow the asthma action plan that has been given to them by their doctor. In case of any cough, any breathlessness that the patient might, that the child might feel, he should start taking his bronchodilator, bronchodilators properly. He should be sticking to his medicines, sticking to his inhaled steroids and should not falter on that. Especially at this time of COVID, being compliant with their medicine is extremely important. Having the correct, giving the medicine in the correct way is very important. It is uh, advised that you take the inhale medicines with a MDI or a um, inhaler and not with nebulizations. This is because when you take nebulizations, the aerosols spread in the air and they tend and the COVID-19 infection tends to spread more by droplet infection. That is the reason that it is recommended that asthma patients follow their inhaler with spacer to administer the medicines. Uh, another thing is in case of an exacerbation, oral steroids must be started in all children at time. We should not shy away from taking oral steroids. During this COVID time, it is a big dilemma that parents suffer whether to take the child to the hospital or not. My child has asthma, he has an exacerbation, whether we should go to the hospital immediately or not. There is COVID also in the hospital. So I would um, give you an advice right now that first of all, give medicate your child give them bronchodilators at home with a spacer like the doctor has explained to you start oral steroids at home and then rush to the hospital if your child has difficulty in talking difficulty in breathing very high respiratory rate or he's become dull lethargic in that case don't wait and rush to the hospital immediately